Hello everyone. Even before starting today's session, I would like to point you guys to the other video that I have published today. Do have a look at it. It it has million dollar of valuable advice in it. It's by someone who was among you guys, one of the subscriber of uh, Coding Decoded channel. He worked really hard for it and got through Morgan Stanley. So it's all about his journey and there are multiple instances which he has quoted in the video from which you can take inspiration and it will motivate you guys to perform better at coding interviews now let's move on to today's session today's session is about day 14th of september lead code challenge the question that we have today is an easy question the name of the question is reverse only letters in the question we are given a string s we need to reverse this string such that all the non english characters retain their position the rest of the english characters gets reversed for example here the input string is a b hyphen c d so a position gets replaced by d b's position gets replaced by c and the hyphen position stays as it is because it is a non english character similarly you can go through the other examples as well you will witness the same thing without much ado let's look at the ppt that i have created for this and let's get started with today's question reverse letters only lead code 917 and i have taken a slightly different example to what was specified in the question the string that i have is a c d exclamatory mark p a c d and p are my english characters valid english character and exclamatory mark is an exclamatory mark uh, how am i going to solve this question as a general practice for reversing a string you take two pointers and i'll exactly do the same thing except for the fact whenever i see a non english character either from the starting pointer or the ending pointer i'll skip it how let's iterate through it the first character is a which will be pointed by the start pointer and the end is p which will be pointed by the p character both of them we will check if both of them are valid english characters we will perform this swap operation so let's swap those up we have p here we have a here and what we are going to do as we swap both of them we'll increment s and we will decrement end what do you see here end is being pointed at a non english character which is which is an exclamatory mark so what you are going to do you will simply skip this character you will copy this character or retain this character to the same position and you will reduce the pointer of e so e now points to d and s remains at the same place now both of them are english characters and you will perform the swap operation so these two get swapped and we have d here we have c here and what you are going to do next you will increment s decrement e so e points here s points here and this is a breaking condition you abort the process at the end of the it we have the updated string which is nothing but p d c exclamatory mark followed by a capital a this seems like a pretty easy question uh, interviewers generally ask these questions as a preliminary clearing round as i told in yesterday's video as well so writing a clean crisp code of such videos is of high importance to catch interviewers attention that you can code well the time complexity of this approach is order of n and we are not using any extra space we are updating the initial input string so the space complexity is constant time without much ado let's look at the solution that i have coded for this and let's move on to the coding part the first thing that i have done here is to create a character array from the input string that is given to me because uh, strings are immutable while you can replace specific instances of c uh, when given in the array format i have taken two pointers s and start and end till the time my start is less than end i check if my current start character happens to be a valid english character if it is not then i increment the start pointer and continue the process similar thing i also do for the end character and if my end character happens to be a non english character i reduce the end pointer 
and continue the process without even swapping anything. If uh, both of them are valid English characters, then I perform the swap operation. I increment the start pointer, reduce the end pointer, and return my updated string. How have I written is English character helper method? It accepts a character and it check it checks whether the character is an English English uppercase character or lower English lowercase character. If it happens to be, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. Pretty straightforward. Let's try this up. Accepted, and I have already talked about the time complexity and the space complexity of the solution. This brings me to the end of today's session. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead, and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.